The immune system protects every organ in the human body through carefully regulated responses. It is a complex organization of cells, tissues, and cell secretions. The immune system is constantly surveying the body for signs of disease. When the immune system is functioning at its best, it can initiate a reparatory response by enlisting specialized cells that work to restore optimal performance. The biggest risk to a healthy immune system is aging. Aging diminishes the quality of the immune system's response, which plays a role in the development of diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, infection, cancer, and muscle atrophy. But why does this occur? When we are young, we have an abundant reservoir of reparatory immune cells that perform optimally to maintain our health. As we age, changes occur within the body at both the molecular and cellular levels. These changes decrease the reservoir of cells responsible for repair. A major function of immune cells is to secrete signals that stimulate and maintain the reparatory cells. These secreted components are referred to as the secretome. The secretome includes signals such as proteins, lipids, nucleic acids, and numerous other factors. As we age, the composition of the secretome changes and the number of reparatory factors declines. Over time, our bodies produce less of the beneficial secretome that is necessary to maintain our health. As a result, age-associated degenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's, cancer, diabetes, and muscle atrophy arise. A youthful secretome contains a multitude of perfectly balanced factors that maintain immune system function. This means that a healthy secretome has the potential to refresh older reparatory immune cells. At Immunis, we developed a method of stimulating healthy cells to produce a youthful secretome. We are currently testing how these powerful secretions can be used to reinvigorate old immune cells back to their optimal function. Our goal is to prevent immune decline and reduce our risk for developing age-related diseases.